Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. We are back on the old Don't Starve Together grind and uh, as I loaded in there I was worried something was wrong because it was very silent. Uh, the, uh, underground I guess. Lack of music and uh, by the looks of things lack of light as well. I uh, seem to have disconnected at a interesting opportune, <laughs> not so opportune moment. Um, <clears throat> right, I'm just looking at the situation we're currently in. It has been a little while since I last played. Um, what do we have? Uh, I might seem a little more awake this time. Uh, the last time <laughs> I was recording, I was a little tired and looking back at the recording. Uh, especially the old bony incident. <laughs> I, could, I could tell uh, I was tired. When uh, there was... I'm, I'm going to call that guy Boney. Like, I mean, if I eventually end up making somewhat of a... like They call them Mega Basis, right? I may very well make a homage to Boney in there somewhere. Good old friend Boney that I'm blind to. Plans for the future. It doesn't look like I'm very long-term sustaining down here as it is because I just have eight berries and one monster meat and then this uh, stale meatballs that is about to go off. I can have a look at the map whilst it's still night time as I am going to need to find a mushroom biome so I can get some green caps for my sanity because that's going to be the main way I'm going to end up surviving down here. I think I had a Tam O'Shanter. It's not that I desperately need sanity or anything. I mean, I can survive without it for like, as long as I need to. It's just going to be very annoying still having it. I guess I can still build all these things that I had already had before, just to stave it off a little bit. I think if I go around exploring, looking to see if I can find the cave today, I think these meatballs should last me. What do I have in terms of a weapon? I don't really, do I? Unless I am... Oh, here we are. I have a stale hand bat. <laughs> but how long that will last me, who knows. I would hazard a guess, not very much longer. I will really need to call all of this at some point. Because, yeah. Do I burn it down? It feels like I'm wasting resources burning it down, but at the same time, I don't want to die to them. Which I feel like, knowing my track record, threats <laughs> that I leave and don't clear out tend to be pretty high on the list of things that end up killing me in the end. I think this is just another one of those little island things. Yeah, with even more spiders. <laughs> and another bit of greenery across. How many spiders do you want? I guess that can be Spider Island if I want to burn all of this down. Do I burn all of this down? Probably burn this one, right? I'll just get out of there. It could end up burning all of it, but it's not exactly like... I mean, I could need the trees underground. It won't burn all of it. Okay, famous last words. I know. It won't burn all of it, and I better not have a clip of me cutting back to this moment later on. Saying that after it's all burnt down. Oh, maybe, maybe this location wasn't so great. A little rabbit. We're halfway through the day and I've explored over there. I still yet to explore 
the farther reaches. It might take me yet another day until I go up to the surface to grab everything else. So it doesn't feel like I'm wasting an entire day. Uh, I kind of need to, actually. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be dumb about this. Does it actually not tell you what time of day it is if you're not currently underneath one of the skylights? Oh, that's how it works. That's actually really cool. I didn't realize that before. Okay. Um, passing time. It's, it's usually when it when it comes around to summer, you're like, oh, I finally have a full day. And then you realize that um, you're probably going to want to pass all of that day because of the burning heat. A luxury fan. I need reeds and I need a rope. Well, I'm not finding reeds down here because I don't have any good buy -in. Well, actually, <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Fairly far away. Um, I'm mainly looking at the luxury fan because if I was to go on the surface and something was to catch on fire, I would kind of want to put it out and then run back down. Whereas... If I am to go on the surface without something like that, I'm not going to have a second chance sort of thing. I'm topped up. And I think just as it turns to dusk, I can go up and I should be okay. I don't have any idea how the wilderness burning mechanic actually works, but I'm pretty sure that it's unlikely to burn things at dusk. I'm going a little bit insane, aren't I? Let's get this ready. Just in case I don't manage to come back with any food. Oh, and here we are. Very, very, um, dusk looking. Almost very night looking, to be honest. Okay. Probably want all of this stuff leave that. Where's my... No Temo Shunter. Did I not ha have one of those? Okay. A little bit of a situational loss. What do I get rid of here? Two grass, probably. <laughs> if I had like a couple of seconds to think on it. Mm. Well, I'll uh, I'll leave it to it because I'm not going to be much help. <laughs> If I did have a Tamo Shanter, I am completely messing it. But, uh. Perhaps I didn't. I, I'm finding it that hard to actually find it. Uh, drumsticks are more important here. Okay, I have a lot of jerky. Like an actual shite ton. And I have clearly got a lot of berries as well. So I think if I get to cooking things today... Uh, perhaps another drying rack couldn't hurt. What would I be missing? Just the rope. Right, montage time. back in the room, just because uh, this rain came on suddenly. I don't remember there being much rain during summer. I do remember the antlion being a thing that I sort of maybe I will have to keep an eye on. 
And um, I think these small jerkies might just be worth eating to get my sanity back up a little bit. I'll keep these meatballs and perhaps uh, drop all this stuff on the floor and keep a chest full of food just for now. These berries are going to decay and rot though. Maybe it would be better to make a bunch of meatballs that are going to end up decaying and then try and eat them in time. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. Uh, my weapon's about to break so I could probably do with... Prototyping myself a spear. Once I've done this, I should be good to head out and have a look what is going on out in the caves. Which will be the farther reaches of the caves because... Oh, there doesn't seem to be much up here for me. I feel like the biggest issue I'm going to end up facing is not having the required resources. Or maybe inventory space. I feel like, uh, requ well, not required resources as such, what, what is it I'm thinking of? The uh, having the items actually unlocked to be able to build. That was more what I was thinking of. Noticing my lack of uh, a pickaxe? Maybe I, I can build a pickaxe, yeah. And plan the route just really quick, not that way. We could test going to the left because it's the next closest area worth noting. Perhaps the miner's hat wouldn't have been a bad shout to bring down because then I could wear the miner's hat and the lantern at the same time. Not the lantern, the walking stick instead of the lantern. I'm not entirely sure if the miner's hat would be enough to negate this water. So, if it would, then it would have been perfect for me to brought it down. But if not, then I think this is probably the better. Got a little bit up here. This looks like another rock area, though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what a tease! <laughs> what a tease! <laughs> Just across the gap. Oh no! It's not too far away then. Oh, more rock lobsters. That's a good sign. Or is it far away? Am I being teased even more? I think I'm being teased even more. Oh, although there's some here, which is good to see. Okay, so green mushrooms. This is actually a really good find. The trees aren't exactly like the best. Seeing if there's any actual green mushrooms themselves would be great. Although it doesn't seem to be the case. Surely there should be. You know, you know. Green mushroom forest. Unless I'm just blind and I've been overlooking them buried in the ground. Yeah. Maybe I have. No, my. Again, no, my track record. <laughs> Surely there should be. Let's chop this down. We could chop like all of these down. I just don't want to chop too many down that were close in case I needed them at a 
at a more urgent notice. Also, there's a, there's a lot I need to learn about caves myself. I don't remember if these mush trees actually grow back if you leave the stumps. I would imagine that they don't. I would say at risk of losing out on mushrooms, but look at the sheer amount of mushrooms there are. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even be that. There's so many. It's insane. <laughs> God, this is great. I, uh, I know, um, well, like, most of the time I usually go for green mushrooms, but, um, looking at people's advice uh, for sanity and stuff. A lot of people tend to just go for blue mushrooms because you can also just use them for healing so it takes less inventory space. Which is an interesting decision because like you lose two more health for eating the mushroom and you get five less sanity. But then you can also just eat a raw one to get the health back. Green mushrooms will always be my go-to's though. Because of the other ways you can get your health back. Oh. Wait, what am I what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm just confusing myself. Losing sanity a bit, but I'm in a cave, right? I shouldn't really worry about it too much. I just scan out what's down here. And I think by the time these mushroom mushrooms, these meatballs have ran out, I can just go back to the surface and grab some more juicy berries, come back down and make a load more meatballs with the jerkies I have. I'm wondering if I should have left some. Oh, bunny man. Uh, okay. It's good to know they're here. It's not exactly good to have them here right now. Though. Especially seeing as I'm insane. <laughs> oh. This could be juicy. There's a tentacle there. By the sounds of it, more elsewhere. There could be a pretty big war zone over there with all those spiders and a bunny man. Should bear that one in mind for when I get attacked by whatever the hound equivalent is. I forget what they're called. I will, I will grab my miner's hat though. Because thinking about it now, I can just get my walking cane to outrun things. As well. And if I ever need a uh, light bulbs, I don't know where to go. Just top up the stock just in case. Pretty sure that's the toadstool boss. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to mess with that. Especially not while I don't have any... Uh, yeah. What am I, what am I calling them? Gears. Also, why am I still wearing this? <laughs> I probably should have taken that off a while ago. Sewing kits should probably be quite high on the priority list if I keep doing things like that. Is this just another, like, whole load of mushrooms? Is that the sound of one popping out of the ground? No. When, do the, when are the green mushrooms coming out? Is it not dusk yet? Or is it because it's summer there's like a very slim slither of dusk?
I'm 47 degrees. Isn't that just before I'm heating? I think it might be. It's very risky. 